Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I was going to say all protocols observed, but I would like to acknowledge um, my uh, excitement at being in the presence of our executive director, Dr. Gordon Mate, and um, our head of UNESCO, um, Mr. Jafar Musa al um, the German ambassador, and Madam Director of Sheds. Um, students, um, journalists, ladies and gentlemen, uh, good evening to you all. For the past couple of weeks, I've been uh, studying, reading, um, digesting, as they say, the, the results of the African media barometer. And um, I couldn't help but, as I went through the discussions around it and having been involved in the, the interviews, I couldn't help but, if I wore a hat, I would have lifted it tonight to the gender. So I would like to applaud you. It is definitely not, especially after the pandemic that we've been through, and I must confess that as I've been studying the Ebola situation in Uganda and China still struggling with, with COVID, um, we realize how fragile this world is in which journalists must operate. And so um, I've been given 10 minutes. So on the one hand, I can say, hey, my work is easy. You know, I'm going to get this over and done with quite quickly. But on the other hand, um, the fact that there is so much that can be attached to a score. And if you've been a teacher, whether in a university or at school, you would know scores are very important, whether it's for sport or for art or for dance or for some written work that you have to submit or for science or for math. The score is all important because that's what the people back home look at. Your colleagues want to understand um, how important you are and whether it's an A or a B and uh, why it's not an A if you've got the B. So um, in my 10 minutes, I'm going to, of course, the, the assessments were done um, against certain indicators. The first indicator looked at civil society in general as members who actively advance the course of media freedom in our country, in the media. That was the first sector that, that, that we dealt with. Um, and then, of course, we would score against each of those, of those sectors. So, for sector... For sector one, the score was, yeah, what do you think? Two comma four. So almost two and a half, almost 50% out of five, okay. out of the score of five. You feel better that it's out of five? <laughs> okay, um, that's, that's, that was the score. Um, and, and usually, um, 2 comma 5 would have meant that we meet certain aspects, you know, of the indicator. And, and um, I believe that, that sometimes we're blinded by the schools because there are always the circumstances within which it would occur in which the scores would be, would be given. Um, the second sector focused on, on issues of diversity, independence, and sustainability of the media landscape. So diversity, independence, and sustainability of the media landscape. Diversity of the media landscape do we have all the kinds of media at our disposal? And um, I remember a few years ago going to a place 
a batch of newspapers, let's say a month's supply of the various daily newspapers. Yeah. And the hunger that was evident when people saw that we had newspapers, because while it's a given in the capital city, it changes as we move through our country. So um, that's what the, what the um, sector two focused on, diversity. Um, it so happens that the first two sectors scored 2,4. Um, and, um, but they're very, very intricate sectors, um, diversity, of, of media, but also diversity in terms of who's employed in the media houses. Um, what's the level of, of, of experience? Who needs the training? How many young people are there? Or maybe the young people have come with qualifications, but they need the, the guidance of, of people who can mentor them in the, in the newsroom. So diversity is a very important thing. I know for me, diversity often also means women and men in the media profession, as I would like to call it, rather than fraternity, um, because um, I'm of the mother as well. Uh, so, but um, it, it, it is so important that we take into account the voices within the newsroom, within the media house. And as I came to the, towards the end of the barometer, I, I couldn't help but think of how we take things like an HR department for granted. Journalists must operate within a framework where they can feel that some, there's something that I'm working towards. Um, I would be assessed at the end of the day. There's possibly um, promotion, promotion not just in terms of um, the dollar sign, but promotion in terms of my extent of, of uh, work that I would be doing, um, being challenged more perhaps in, in another um, area within the newsroom. And, and, and so, so assessing and diversification, those things go hand in hand. So, um, diversity, independence, and at the end of the day, we would all want to contribute towards the sustainability of our media hubs. Remember, I've just spoken about COVID, and we've learned also through the consultations done by the Friedrich Ebert people that it's been tough for many people. Uh, many lost their jobs, uh, many had to take a reduction in salary, um, Others had to do twice the amount of work that they would normally have done, and, and so forth. Sector three focused on legislation, regulation of broadcasting, and the internet. When I see the internet, I think again of this wonderful country. And um, we had a common saying in our classrooms that the further you go from the capital city, the fewer the resources become. But that doesn't mean that those people mustn't be consulted. Often these days, we know it's even difficult to get outside of the capital city. But the stories, the main stories often lie beyond the capital city. Issues that need to be addressed. And, and so the variety that you're going to get there, either through doing a small little get, get together, a little focus group and get the story ideas and, and the amazing things that could come to the fore just by, by being outside of your, your regular area of operation. So for legislation, um, we had a score of 3,1 out of 5. Um, that we have laws in this country. Um, maybe some need to be reviewed. Um, maybe some need to embrace the newer aspects pertaining to technology and how things are done today. Um, 
people are doing their young people especially cardless transactions and fingers just sort of glide across a little keyboard you know I fumble because I prefer this sort of keyboard than my cell phone keyboard but that's just about training right and, and becoming familiar with different kinds of, of instruments so um, that was three comma one I said for, for sector three sector four focused on the quality of media working conditions or work conditions and safety of journalists tough topics again um, UNESCO has wonderful uh, um, content on how scary the, the statistics are in terms of the safety of journalists and um, when um, our director of ceremonies um, mentioned gunshots in Johannesburg what I find even scarier in Johannesburg is when it's load shedding and we're <laughs> at difficult traffic lights mm -hmm. and uh, um, you've come from an event at 11 o'clock at night um, it is it is not the most pleasant of experiences so so maybe there's a, 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 a bit of light for us in terms of our newsrooms that when you get there you probably will have electricity um, and um, and this is the other sector where we scored a bit higher also three comma one so if you're going to do your math you're going to say it's a pass um, it's a pass I think over 50 percent would be considered a pass um, but I know many of you are saying but what kind of pass and how did I pass what it says to me is that under very very difficult uh, circumstances and situations um, we still produced we still produced the goods people could find the information that they needed um, very very quickly um, and um, I think quality at the end of the day wasn't completely compromised because of the pandemic um, I would like to say that okay so you're saying the mathematicians in the room would say okay 54 percent more or less what does it tell us it tells me that we can actually do even better um, than we've done I would like to be positive about this because um, even in, in classrooms where you now have to teach via MS Teams and I'm very much an activities person my students must first do an experience and then we get the results from them before I just tell them what the answer is and I've missed that so that every time I closed my laptop I thought I haven't done enough it really always felt as if I haven't done enough and to get to people during times when, when it's tough now you might be saying that I'm trying to find um, reasons for the score but it, it makes one emotional when you've studied all the results of the barometer and this small country what it took on the, on the six Dr. Martin yeah um, at the moment million people and um, the landscape the geography is very different to what you'd find elsewhere and and people got to do what the media required of them so I would like to say that there, there were certain things that, that I found in terms of the results. Training. Training, training, training. Even if it means a coach in the media house. A coach for whatever the, the area of work would be. Then HR, human resources where people would know how they're evaluated how they would be assessed and that they would be assessed at hand where 
are we moving towards? With the newer technologies and maybe new ways of work, maybe the hybrid, hybrid is another new word that has been um, used regularly now because people have been working from home and um, if there's been load shedding like in a country like our neighbor South Africa, um, you know, you would rather want to be in the office. So people work two days from home, three days in the office, and so on. And maybe that would still work, even though we have electrical supplies that haven't failed us. And, and, and so we need to reconsider the issue of who gets which beat seems to me another matter. And yes, now I'm going to mention that word gender. You know, there is so much, and it, it doesn't have to be like in some forms a dirty word. I think gender can be a very positive one because women and men working um, towards the same cause and understanding what your media house is about, um, contractual arrangements, you know, it's so important to speak to the experts right in your media house. And um, this school, I believe, has the potential of becoming a 65 or a 70. I feel that way because people have remained committed to the cause. Thank you very much. <laughs>